Hello everyone, it's Amani here. I just had to do this video because I had a little extra fabric. So, drum roll! Brrr. This leotard! Can you believe it? Because I can't. I took the last piece of fabric that I had left and created something like this for ballet class. And guess how many hits I got? Everyone at my school loved it. Now, I really wish that I could tell you everything and show you all the steps to doing this. But, unfortunately, I had just a little small amount of time. But I would love to discuss this with you. So, let's talk about fabric. Since I didn't get to when I did my skirt. Now with this fabric, or for a leotard, some gymnastic people or regular ballet girls use stretchy fabric or they buy stretchy fabric so it can fit them on their bodies perfectly. I like stretchy fabric because it helps me move around and be active all at the same time while I'm doing tendus, plies, releves, anything, even gymnastic tricks. You can still have something not too thin, but something that you can barely see your hand. So, let's talk about how I got this heart shape on my leotard. I did not have the right pattern or guide to making a heart shape, so I took one of my regular tops that can at least fit around my waist, kind of like this leotard. So I took it and I traced it. Now you see how this shirt has sides or curves going like this and just on the same side. That's exactly what I did. Something that can fit around your waist and not something too big. If you make it too big, it's gonna sag, ladies. Now, about the bottom of your leotard. Now don't just go drawing triangles because it's not gonna work. Now if you already have a regular leotard or a regular gymnastics outfit, you can take the whole thing and you can just trace it on your fabric, but on the wrong side of the fabric. But instead, I did not have my black leotard, so I took the bottom piece of my bathing suit. When you want to do the front, you need to fold the back, so all you see is the front and you're going to trace that only. Now, when you get ready to do the back, you're not going to have the triangle part shown, and you're just going to trace it like this on your second palette, which you are going to cut. Now, for the straps, you don't want to just go ahead and cut regular triangles to attach to your leotard because it's also going to droop in the front. So I recommend buying elastic from Joann's Fabric Store. This will help not only hold up your leotard right here, but it'll also keep a nice tight spot in the back for you and in the front so you won't feel like it's going to droop so low to where you're going to feel a bit embarrassed. Now wait until you see the back of my leotard. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Cool, huh? Now, all I did was cut a regular U-shape in the back of my leotard and added one piece of elastic going straight across. Now, you don't want your white elastic showing or whatever kind of colored elastic you pick. So you're going to take another strap of your fabric, but just a scrap. You don't want to use something that you're already going to use. Wrap it around the elastic and put hot glue on it. Girls, you can pick any type of fabric that you want. If you want roses, go get you some roses. If you want mint, go get you some mint. If you want purple, go get you some purple. Your possibilities are endless. Do any type of color you want. Go all out, add some glitter, do whatever you want to do with your leotard, and have fun. Thanks for watching, and there's plenty of more to come to Amaya.